Good evening, welcome back to another video and welcome back to the Beauty Room family. Welcome new subscribers and thank you for tuning in today's video. Today is June 13th, 2024 and the time is 8.20 p.m. We had a little rain today, just like a little scattered rain, but I believe later on it's supposed to be more rain and more thunder, like thunderstorm weather. So, and today was 90 degrees today. I was like, wow. So I finally went out after being cooped up in the house for about a week, but... I made it through the week so yeah but that's okay you know I like to get out every once in a while enjoy life you know enjoy the fresh air just enjoy walking and just enjoying going into stores that I love to shop at so if you want me to do any more let's go shopping at any store like the stores that I have near me is Burlington five below Target Ross um, I, I believe I said Burlington already and I have some other stores in different cities. I have like an, like another Target. Let's see what else. I have. There's Marshalls. Let's see. TJ Maxx is in another city. So let me know in the description box what store you want me to shop at and do a haul. I would love to do that for you all. Because you all mean the world to me. The video room family and new subscribers. Or people just stopping by to say hello and hello. If you're brand new to my channel and never seen my face before before hello my name is dawn and welcome to the beauty room and if you just hit that subscribe button thank you so much god bless you you're part of the beauty room family hugs 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 i give hugs over here thank you so much that really does support my channel here out on youtube and it just helps me grow even more even and more and more each and every day so thank you all for just subscribing to my channel god bless you and your families your significant other your partner and this month is L G T B Q. Hope I'm saying it right. Because one of my best friends that I've been knowing since I was like in my twenties, she is married to to her wife. And um I haven't seen her in whew, I say in over ten years. So hopefully one day by next year, two thousand twenty five, she'll come back to um come back here you know, to see her family and see me and see all her friends you know of course so we can in, we can introduce ourselves to her wife or whichever you know but yeah but this month is the it's pride month so i'm so so excited about that i'm so so ha so happy about that because yes um that love is love to me it doesn't matter you know of the color of a person's skin color height sex or rate of religion love is love you know so yeah i that is just so awesome and cool because and then next week no next few more days it'll be father's day so happy father's day early to you fathers um to you uh <clears throat> fathers out there that are fathers or if you're like uncle and you're a father to your family's you know nephew or you know whichever are you like inspiration to 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 to, a fa to be a father, whichever you know? God bless you all. God bless you, men, so much for step I me mean, for stepping up and being in that child's life or that young man's life. You know, thank you so much for all you fathers that have done the best. And dad, to you, happy Father's Day. And to all my uncles, happy Father's Day to you all. God bless you. I miss you all so 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 much. Um, yes. So. Let's get started into my bag of let's go to the beauty supply store and haul. So that's where I went to about an hour, about an hour and a half ago. I was finished uh, wa watching the rest of this movie that I watched. Um, I believe Shaquille O'Neal had is a ex executive producer of this movie, and it's called Steps. It's on. It's on like it's. I want to say maybe free free movie ads you know if you see like it'll say free movie ads you know on your phone for free movie ads or you can just look it up it should come up it's a good hour and 48 move like 48 minutes and some seconds of the movie but it's really really good it's it's very emotional it definitely inspires you um it lifts you up you know and you know because everybody have a past everybody have a past i have a past hamilton had a past you know but we but in life now you have to forgive and forget and let god let go and let god because he's the only person that can not make your past go away because that's still your past you know but whatever a person have done in your life let's say three months ago let's say 
you and your girl, uh, you and your best friend, you know, girlfriend, which you know, girlfriend, because that's that's what I call my girlfriends, girlfriends, you know, because they're my best friends, and um, you know, they've done some really, really bad or shady to you, and you know, it could be any situation. I'm not gonna say any situation, but I'm just saying any situation, whatever it is. Please forgive her. Please find it in your heart to forgive that person, even it takes you a few months or a few weeks. You know, forgive that person because. At the end of at the end of the day, your heart, your body will feel so much better because you forgave that person. Or let's say it was somebody in your past five, three, two years ago, or even a year ago, and they done something to you or um, stole money from you. I'm just I'm just saying, you know, I'm praying that that'll happen to you all. But I'm just saying, any situation, you have to let go and let God and forgive. Forgive that person and forgive yourself too for being mad. I mean, of course you, you're human. You know you're human. Of course you're going to get mad and angry and pissed off. But you have to forgive that person. Like I said, at the end of the day, that will make your heart more calmer, and you you feel good about yourself because you forgave that person. Like me, in the past when I was in my twenties, I'm gonna tell you this is a true story. True story. I was in my 20s, uh, yeah, 20s, I just had my own apartment, my ex and I just broke up, you know, within that year before I got my own place, and I said, okay, I can't stay with his parents, you know, forever, so I put an application in for an apartment, and then a few weeks ago, I moved in, got the apartment, got my keys, everything, and... And it was, luckily, thank God, it was right down the street from where I worked at. So, it was in the same location. So, that's good for me, for walking distance, you know. And, um, and, uh, so, so then what happened was, <clears throat> you know, she would come over, you know, by herself, you know, a couple of times. Say, oh, girl, no problem. You know, she came to visit me because she was in the area. Said, no, no problem. And then she brought somebody else with her. I didn't even know this person. Didn't know. But this person was talking to me. You know how you, you know, you be excited about your own place. And, and at that time, it was just about a good couple months that I just moved in there. Like two months that I moved in there. Saving up money, you know, because I never really, I had a bank account. But I was trying to get one, you know. I was trying to see which it was good. What bank account was in my location area that I lived in, you know, for my apartment. And everything, and um, so she brought the person over and everything. I was like, oh, "How you doing? Hey, you know, hey, no problem, you know, me, nice person, of course, you know." And um, she's like, "Well, where's the bathroom?" I said, "Oh, it's right down here." So I, I, you know, she pretended like she had closed the bathroom door to go to the bathroom. So oh, no problem, you know, me and him talking, you know, for a few minutes, and it didn't dawn on me until they left. They left together, and um. Uh, she goes out, you know, she says, I'll come back over the weekend. I said, well, I said, well, don't bother because I'm not going to be home, you know. I said, uh, okay, whatever, you know, I'm, you know, okay. You know, I didn't tell, I didn't say anything. I just said it in my mind, you know. And um, a few minutes later, some told me to, God told me to go, go in my bedroom, go under my mattress. I had quite some money in there. And I didn't know that she had a problem. That's all I just all I'm gonna say. I don't wanna you know, it's been over years ago, but you know, and um she robbed me. Him and the person her and the person robbed me. You talk about a twenty something year old woman being hurt and angry and pissed off. I called my ex, you know, my ex boyfriend's mom. She told me to call the police and write a report and everything, go down there to the police station, I'll come get you, you know. Because my mom, at the time, my mom was in California, you know, at the time with our, with our family, you know, living living in California. And, and um, that was crazy. That was crazy. And um, a few months, like I say, uh, about a year later, she comes into where I worked at. She goes, hey, how you doing? Being all nice. And so I said, hey, what's up, you know? She's like, we need to talk. I said, no, ma'am. I said, right now, I'm at work right now. I don't want to talk to you right now. You know, give me time. You know, so she came. She came back a few a few weeks later, and she goes, you know, we. She, I, and then I was on my break. You know, when she came though, you know, 
I was on like my uh, hour break, you know. And she goes, you know, I'm so sorry for what I've done to you. Do you forgive me? You know, I was, you know, I don't know where my mind was at. You know, I didn't mean to do that to you. I didn't mean to mess up our friendship. Cause I, cause I've known her. I was, I known her at work, you know, at the job that I had before I went to this one, you know, to, to how to, to get rid of, not get rid, but had to put in my two weeks for that job, you know, that I had and come back within the city that I, you know, that's located for me. That's a quick walking distance for me, you know, in the area of my, of my apartment. So I was really hurt, but you know what? God had to let, uh, let me remember that, let it go and let God work it out. And ever since then, I'm, I'm cool. So, <laughs> You know, God is just, what I'm saying is God is so good because even though you have a past, okay, even though you have a past, but you got to forgive what the people has done, has done wrong to you. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. Trust me. Trust me. I, <laughs> woo. And being in my 20s, yeah, I was nothing to play with, you know, um, this, it's sweet with this. The way that I am now, I thank God every single day and every minute, every moment, every day and night that he wakes me up because I'm more calmer. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a violent person, but once you press that buttons in me and push me to the corner, I'm coming out fighting. <laughs> I mean, that's how I was then, you know what I mean? That's how I was then. And I had to forgive her. I really had to forgive that young lady that done that to me. Because I'm thinking in my head, okay, she, you're supposed to be my friend. You know, my co-worker, you know. And you're going to do this to me? I've never done anything wrong to nobody. I may laugh to somebody or, you know, that's about it. You know, <laughs> you know, being a kid, of course, you know. I was like, now I'm an adult, you know, you're going to do this to me? I was like, wow, you know. So then... Other things start happening in my life, you know, later on, you know, like still in my mid-20s, like 25, you know, way before I got married. And then, you know, it, it just, it just seemed to go up like a little bit after that, you know. And, but now, life is good now. I'm truly unblessed because God gave me the man that I've been praying for for so many years so many years i'm telling you i was down on my knees praying every night not just for being for wanting to be married and have a good soulmate but to just love myself first forgive myself and forgive my enemies you know and to read the bible more go to church more you know give god this christ his glory that he wakes me up every day to have a job and to get a job to have an interview to get the hourly rate that i make and get the hours that i I deserve and that I want to all I can get at any time you know but you know I had to forgive that person and I've been ever since I've been really 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 good you know I'm not saying I'm a per I'm a perfect person because I did have a bad attitude when I was in my in, when I was in my mid-20s you know I had no filter you know I didn't really care you know but I thank God changed me you know after that situation but I just want to tell you about that story you know that it is a very true story that's why I said her and him you know you know and but I haven't seen that person in so many years because once you okay once you done excuse me once you done something wrong to God's child and you may think he's gonna punish that person he will Oh, he will. It may not be at the time that you want it to happen, but God will. But God says to forgive, to forgive in the Bible. You have to forgive. I know it's hard because that person may have done something like, like you know, like my situation. A person may have done something wrong to you, like in my situation, or even worse to you, or. You know, done something wrong to your family or to your grandparents. I pray not, but you know. But there are really some mean, mean, cruel people out here in the world. That's why you gotta always watch your back. You know, make sure your surroundings are safe and okay. You know, make sure you know you you know uh, have people with you. You know, and everything, especially during like the holidays. You know, of course the holidays like Christmas time. That's the only time. Don and Hamilton do not go out. <laughs> no, 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 around December. October, nope. We do, in October and December, those are the two months that we don't go out at all because it snows here in Michigan. You know, in Michigan, but we don't go out 
not just because of that. We we just we just don't want to be around people, you know. And that's the truth. That that is really the truth. But um, I do shop online for you know Christmas. At, I mean around October, November, so I can send out my family on so my mom's side and my dad's side gifts and stuff like that. And yeah, just to all right, talk with them, you know, on the phone until for a few minutes or for her hour, you know, just be grateful and blessed to still have my mom's side of the family and still have my dad, my stepmom, my sister, my nephew, and then my dad's side of the family, and then also my stepmom's family, which I wish they know me since I was little, you know, since I was five, you know. I truly thank God every single day, and I thank God for the love of my life. I'm with Hamilton, and he accepted me with open arms, and he accepted me in my past, and he and I accept him, him in his past, you know, and everything, and I thank God every day for him, because I pray for him more than I pray for myself, you know, and I pray for our relationship, and I pray for our, for our marriage, you know, and our lives together, for the rest of our lives together, you know, and I pray for my neighbors, my neighborhood, and I pray for my new neighbors in my new neighborhood, and just our future together, I definitely pray for, and I pray for Hamilton's family, I pray for his dad, I pray for my family, on my dad and my mom's side, and I also pray for Hamilton's dad, you know, uh, and everything, you know, and I thank God, when I first met Hamilton, y'all, oh my God, girl, y'all, I was nervous, y'all, I was so my nerve, my finger was like this. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I said, like, okay, well, Hamilton's white. You know, his family's white. You know, I'm in this relationship again. You know, two, number two. You know, and then it's the age difference too. Um, I'm older than Hamilton. I'm 12 years older than him. You know, because when I was his age, I was married to my ex-husband. So, I was, well, I was older than Hamilton's age when I got married. But I was 28 when I got married to my ex, my ex, my ex deceased ex-husband his his family was something else but you know what that's okay because they done me wrong too you know and i had to forgive to forgive you know but god is so good that he changes a situation around you know and he puts you in certain places and spots where you shall you should not be at you know God, sometimes you're, sometimes you, as a person, you're in the wrong place at the wrong time. So that, that, that does happen. That truly does happen. But in, you got to think in the back of your mind or your mind tell you, go this way, go this way, go this way, go left, go left. Don't go right, go left, go left, or go straight forward, you know. So that's, that's God speaking to you. That is God speaking to you. But, you know, um, that's just me. That's just my beliefs, you know, um. I'm just, I'm not giving advice. I'm just speaking to you because this is my beliefs and what I speak on because I feel that God is just, he's just an awesome God. Awesome, awesome God. And, <laughs> whew, God, God, Jesus. God changed my life for a reason because, like I said, I didn't have no filter at the time. And when I was in my 30s, I didn't either. I didn't really care <laughs> about hurting nobody's feelings. I would cut you out at any time, any moment when I was in my 30s. And then I had to do a woosaw, like really do a woosaw. Look in that mirror and take a look at myself. Take a look at my reality and say, wow, why am I stuck here? Well, dang, well, why am I here with that person? Well, why am I moving with it? You know what I mean? My life was just flipping up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. But God is so good that I'm 46 now and <laughs> God changed my life for a reason. And now I try my best not to curse, you know. If I do, I put a dollar in, like, in a jar. <laughs> or five dollars or two dollars. So, you know, um, Hamilton does it too. So, yeah, we're starting that. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, we're, we're human. You know what I mean? We are human people. Of course, we're going to curse. We're going to, you know, get angry, get mad, you know. But God changes us for a reason. So, I'm gonna get off way off of that subject. I'm so so sorry, but I just wanted to tell you all that because I wanted you all to get to really know me as a person. You know what I mean? And I thank you all so much for spending your busy time, your your out of your schedule, just getting home from work, whatever, or just relaxing. You know, then you're watching my videos. You're watching me. You know, as a small creator, YouTuber that I am, 
And I thank God each and every day for you all so much for just hitting that subscribe button, telling your family and friends all about the beauty room and their subscribing, and then you turning on and hitting that notification bell. So when I, up when I do a post, you're watching, you're supportive, you're supportive to me, you're giving me kind, positive messages on the description box, you know, and I thank you all so 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 much from the bottom of my heart so please continue to subscribe to your family and friends all about the beauty room and if they are considering subscribing thank you so much i appreciate each and every one of you someday one day we are going to see each other one day someday god god's working on my god's working on my blessings your blessings you know to for you and your family whatever blessings and goals and dreams you have coming true it's going to happen. It's going to come true for you because I know it is. So we serve an awesome God. So, but I just want to show you a mini haul. The things that I got from the Beast of Life store today. This is by, uh, 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 Ruby Kisses. Yeah, Ruby Kisses. Sorry. This is the flat Kabuki brush. And this was $6.99. So this, you can use this definitely for your foundation, your cream foundation, any foundation that you have you can definitely use it for that or you can get you a stippling um, kabuki brush and you can use that for your primer if you have nails on you know you can definitely use that for that or you can put your finger into your primer or if you have like a tube you know just put the tube part on you on your face how much you know whatever you have because I have pores I have pores I have dark spots underneath my eyes here I have fine lines, wrinkles, you know, and my nose is kind of like, it's not bad, but I got beaten up so many times um, in weird relationships that I've had in the past. I had to forgive and forget as well, you know, kind of messed up my nose a little bit, but I thank God I'm here. I truly thank God every single day that I'm here. So I just wanted to show you about this. This was on, um, this was for $6.99. At my local beauty supply store so definitely um, do not um, walk past if you go into your local beauty supply store that's in your city state area location or plaza area that you have a beauty supply in a store and go in there definitely get some ruby kisses or it's called absolute um, by New York you know check out those beauty those beauty products and now this is also by Ruby Kisses and this is the cream 3d contour kit this is in um, cream number two so this is for medium to dark skin tones that for me that I am a color of woman this is for 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 our um, for skin tone but they do have a cream number one for a for lighter shades for women and that are like ivory medium tan you know, they definitely have this for Ruby Kisses. Very affordable uh, makeup products. Oh, and this was for $7.99. And then in More Beauty, this is by Nika K New York. This is the cream um, powder, pressed powder. This is in dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. And this was for $4.99. Then I also got by Nika K, the perfect, I mean perfection setting spray, long lasting, in a 2.2 fluid ounce, which is 60 ml. This is the setting spray. So after you put on your primer, you can set your face with this, and then use a wet um, beauty spo um, a beauty sponge by Real Techniques. They have them too at the local be at your local beauty supply store. They didn't have them in mine this time, so I looked and looked, but I didn't see it. So, and uh, but they usually do. Or you can go to Target or Walmart and get you some some beauty some beauty sponges. You know, after you're done spraying this, after you after you put your primer onto your face, whichever areas like your T zone, right here underneath your eyes, your cubic's bow, your chin. And your nose that's where I normally put my primer at and I definitely and I definitely use the elf grip primer that green one or can use the, the red one the red one is for combination to oily and believe the green one is for uh, um, no the um, the green one I, I think is for combination to oily I think the red one by grip primer by elf I think that one is for like 
uh, dry skin so but either or but but get your information on both of those primers by elf look it up look up the information the, um, the ingredients and stuff like that so that way you'll know and hopefully you're not allergic but I got this at my bee supply store for $3.99 Then I got these two same eyelashes. These are the natural eyelashes. These are the short ones. I like using the short eyelashes because of my eyes and how my eyes are. I believe my eyes are like round, like cat eye. So those like how my eye shape would every but every woman and every guy have different eye shapes. So yeah, so like this one's higher than this one. But they look the same. You know of course and um eyes but it's like i have like the round cat eye so yeah but i definitely like to use these i like to use short uh eyelashes so these were oh they were 1.99 so and this was 1.99 also as well and then they say this one is like the number one eyelash glue or adhesive but you can get the other one is by kiss with the gold top like this it is it's by kiss that one is like th between $3.99 and $6.99 at your local target or walmart but this one is just from the b supply store for $3.99 and this is in clear so this one's very good too so this is a uh, this is a good one too if you are trying to be you know trying to be on a budget this would be a definitely good eyelash adhesive so all these products that I'm showing you here is going to be in a tutorial so now these are the earrings I got the earrings one pair is $2.99 I believe the other pair is like $3.99 or $5.99 just some studs then I got some nail polish as well now this is by Ruby Kisses this is in baby little so that's that thing i mean sorry bye honey bye honey i love you have a good day at work okay ham hey, babe have a good day at work you too i love you love you so and then this is just like black eyeliner this was just a dollar ninety nine so this goes right at your eyelid um after you have after you apply your eyeshadow on that would this would be definitely good to have you know if, if you're going out for the weekend you know with your girls you're you're having a night out with your girls you want to have get some affordable makeup go right to the local or go right to your local beauty supply store and then this one is by nico k new york this is just the auto eyebrow this one is in dark brown no, this is an espresso. I'm sorry. This is EBAA02 espresso for just a dollar ninety nine. Also as well, and I spent about what I spent forty. I spent. I like to round it up, so it's forty eight dollars at my local beauty supply store. So this is all in at the video story time you got. And a beauty haul that she got from your from my local from my local beauty supply store that I love to shop in because the ladies know me and I know them you know I bring them goodies you know food you know for, um, chicken the place that I used to work at Heartland they have some of the amazing best fried chicken ever and it smells so good like at 10 o'clock in the morning it just hits your nose it's just like oh my gosh <laughs> so yes so but yeah that is what I did today um, just to get out the house you know so yeah but enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up comment like and subscribe hit and turn on the, the notification bell so you never miss an upload when i do so thank you all so much before i go let's say a prayer heavenly father lord jesus we thank you thank you lord jesus for letting us see another day oh god we thank you for each and every day that you've given us every second minute and every hour and every night of the day getting us to work safely early in the morning and getting us home safe after work and picking up our kids running errands and praying that our kids had a wonderful and blessed week in school or homeschooling that parents is teaching their children god just keep them all safe lord keep all of my beauty room family and new subscribers family safe and soundly when they're hurt or harm or danger on the highway and byway 
Oh, please, Father God, bless their neighbors in the neighborhood. Bless bless them on their jobs. Bless the young kids if they are over 18 or 16, have their first jobs. Bless them on their jobs and get them home safely as well, Father God. God, just continue to bless each and every person here on, the, on this earth, oh, Father God. Continue to keep us all safe in every city, state, location, country, world. God, just keep us all safe and well protected, God. Bless these people that I hear on the news. Oh, God, just bless them. Touch them right now, Lord. Bless the firefighters, the, the paramedics, the police officers, the doctors of men and women, the patients that's each and every room in every hospital, urgent care. God, bless each and every hospital room. Bless each and every children's hospital room. Oh, Father God, bless the staff. Bless the cleaning staff in each and every hospital, oh God, that's doing the best they can to, can to keep these hospital rooms clean and safely and sanitized for friends and families to visit, oh Lord. Keep Hamilton and I, friends, safe and safe, protected as well with their relationships, healthy, blessed relationships. Keep Hamilton and I relationship safe and healthy, oh God. Keep us communicating at all times, oh God. Bless each and every relationship, oh God. God, just keep them in your mind. Keep us in your mind, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that we keep you in our mind, Lord, and keep you in our prayers, oh Father God. Continually to be blessed, to always have, to be blessed, Lord, that we have our lights turned on, still, still on, our electricity still on, gas still on, food in our refrigerators to feed our family or children. And to definitely have jobs to keep our roof overhead, rent, mortgage paid at every month, oh God. And clothes on our back, God. And for food that we don't even really want, but we're grateful to have it, oh Father God. And bless you people that are on the streets, oh Father God, that are homeless and they're needing help, oh Father God. No matter what the situation is, and situation is, God, but just ask you, I ask you, God, to bless them and continue to protect them, oh, Father God, of every day, every minute, every hour, day and night. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And God, continue to bless Hamilton's dad, my dad, all of my beautiful family's parents, their loved ones, their in-laws, their selves, their relationships, their marriages, their children safe, oh, Father God, and their babies safe as they just had a baby. God bless them, Lord. Bless all of my co-workers that I work with. God bless them and their family and their loved ones, oh, Father God. Keep them safe, Lord, and protected. In Jesus' name, amen. So, um, just have a blessed and safe the rest of the week. And enjoy your weekend to the Beauty Room family. And when it comes to you, have a blessed and safe weekend. And I'll see you all in the next video. God bless. Thanks for watching and spending your time with me. I love you all. Bye.